Hi, I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to teach you how to roast Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts have a bad rap, but I promised if cooked the right way, they can be absolutely delicious. So here's what you need. Uh, we have a pound and a half of Brussels sprouts. They've been rinsed, cleaned, uh, and sliced in half. We have an oiled baking dish, the juice of two lemons, pepper, salt, and olive oil. And so cooking them is a three-step process. First, we're going to steam them for about three to five minutes. Then we're gonna put them into an oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. And then lastly, we're just gonna stick them in the broiler for about 30 seconds to get nice and crispy. So let's start by putting them uh, on the stove top and getting them nice and steamed. So I've already been boiling my water. So I'm just gonna put them in here. So we're gonna steam them for about three to five minutes. Um, we don't want them to be totally mushy, but we want that initial cooking to begin. So a little crispy, but soft. So we're gonna stir them occasionally, wait five minutes, and then take them out. So it's actually been about three and a half minutes and our Brussels sprouts are nice and green and they're getting cooked. So let's take them off the heat and put them into our pan. An easy way to tell if Brussels sprouts are cooking well um, is obviously the color. They'll get like this nice dark green color. And then you can just test them out with a spoon and see how soft they are. So let's just shake out any additional moisture. Okay. And I have oiled uh, this baking dish already, so we're just gonna pour the Brussels sprouts into our oiled baking dish. They smell lovely. Okay, so get your wooden spoon. And first, we're going to add the, the juice of the two lemons. We're just gonna pour that on top. I'm just gonna make sure that this is nicely even. Okay, so just pour the lemon juice. It's not an exact science, you're gonna mix it all up, so don't worry about that. Okay, there you go. Now we're gonna add the olive oil. And this is really just enough to make sure that it's coated. Again, not an exact science. You can use more if you like, if you want it to be like Extra, extra crispy. It's about like two and a half tablespoons. I just wanna make sure everything is coated with the mixture. So I'm just gonna to toss, toss, toss. I'm gonna do a little bit more olive oil. Because if there's a piece of Brussels sprout that isn't coated with the olive oil or the lemon juice, it won't, um, it won't brown as nicely. And it won't taste as good. Both things are very important. Okay. Perfect. Now for our salt and pepper. This is also to taste. I'm using um, kosher salt. Sea salt also works very well for this. If you like coarser, coarser ground salt, which gives a nice little extra crunch. There we go. I like it have a lot of crunch. And now for our pepper, just grind, grind, grind. And this is a pepper medley. Um, so we have some red peppercorns, it's beautiful. And the color is gorgeous. So just toss this one more time until everything's coated. It's evenly distributed in the pan. Beautiful. Okay, great. So now we're going to pop it into our oven. It's been preheating at 350 degrees and we're going to uh, leave the Brussels sprouts in there for about 30 minutes. Check it every five minutes or so and um, stir occasionally. You wanna make sure that everything gets evenly browned. Uh, and after that, we're gonna take it out, pop it in our broiler and it's ready to serve. So our Brussels sprouts have been cooking for about 30 minutes and I've been stirring them every five minutes or so to make sure they're evenly cooked. Um, so now let's just check them and make sure they're ready to go and be broiled on high for about 30 seconds. Okay. They're definitely cooked through, so I'm just gonna turn the broiler on now, on high, and let them get crispy for about 30 seconds, but keep an eye on them. They might crisp up a little bit sooner depending on the heat of your oven. So 
So as you can see, they're all nice and crispy. Um, everything's nicely cooked through. They smell amazing. Obviously cool them off a little bit, uh, but they're ready to serve. And that's how you roast Brussels sprouts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at mahalo.com. And don't forget, check out our other great cooking videos.